Hey guys, it's Lore Lore here at Lore Lore Stitches on YouTube and also at Lore Lore Stitches over on Instagram. Today we are going to be doing a mid-year floss parade. Some of these things you will have just seen in the last video, but some of these things you haven't seen since the very first whip parade of the year, which is my very first YouTube or floss tube ever. So settle in, grab a drink, grab a snack, grab your stitching. Let's get into the mid-year whip parade. Alrighty, so I decided the way I'm going to go through this is from oldest to newest. And I have everything lined up here at my feet. So I'm going to be bending down a lot. Um, some of, most of everything I took off the Q-snaps. I have a big old pile of Q-snaps right here. I did not iron. I will say it again for the people in the back. I did not iron. I only iron when I'm done. So it's going to be wrinkly. Oh well. <laughs> um, hopefully you'll still get some enjoyment out of it. And if not, this is not the place for you because I don't iron till the end. So anyway, so the first one I'm going to start out with is um, Heaven and Earth Designs. It is called The Guide. And the artwork is by Bridget Ashwood. And I'm hoping I have a photo of what it looks like in this bag look I just I just made sure I had everything in order I didn't look to see if I had all the stuffs in here okay no big deal I will show you the picture I have in my book that's saved it's called the guide g-u-i-d-e Bridget Ashwood heaven and earth designs I don't know that she carries Bridget Ashwood anymore. So honestly, sorry, I was just checking to see if the microphone is on. Honestly, I don't know if she has this design anymore. Um, I apologize because my dogs are going to be running in and out. And possibly this video will get interrupted by my husband calling me on the way home from work. Okay, so this has gotten... Uh, no stitches since I last updated in my digital planner, but I think probably about a hundred since you guys last saw it because this page was not finished at the beginning of the year. And I did pull it for some, um, February in fandom cross stitching was, uh, finishes month. And so if you could get a finish, even on a page, it counted a lot of points for your team. So I knocked out the last 150 some, stitches that were in that page this page down here um i am gonna go this way now so i did grid it all out i had already started down right here um but i did go ahead and grid all this so when i move on i'll be moving over to the side just to finish that side so i'm not taking this off the scroll because it is very hard to get back on but <clears throat> you can pretty much see the whole thing. There's a little bit of it that just tips over to the top there. But this is in a Sherry So Sweet bag. At least this part is. Uh, the pattern and threads. And this needle minder is just a little scale, mermaidy scale needle minder by uh, Gina's Unique Boutique. So my whip go goal is a thousand stitches. I only have 150 completed. It has been called this year, so it is on my to-do list. My oldest whip. This was actually started for a friend of me and my husband's who was the best man at our wedding. He loves wolves. And so we got married in 2004, and I started this in 2004. So it'll probably be another 20 years before he gets it. But I'm trying. So uh, Also, it's being done on white Monaco. My next pattern is in a Garon Totten Bags bag. It's got like castles on it. It is the Midnight Enchanter. So this is a Dimensions Chart and Charms pack that I believe is out of print. 
You can find it sometimes on eBay. This one is one of the ones that I would like to completely finish this year. And I have completed my goal for him on my whip goal this year. So my goal for him was to finish the whole left side, or it's my right side here, um, of all these half cross stitches here, and that's all done. So pretty much all I have to do is the big moon behind him, some more of the sash. Um, I'm sure there's like a little swirl that goes up here, uh, back stitch, charms, etc. But he is not very far from being done, although that moon is pretty big and I tend to underestimate things, so it's probably like 10,000 stitches left, but this I started in 2006, and I started this for my youngest son. Uh, my oldest son loved dragons, my youngest son loved fantasy and wizards and things, so I started the wizard for him. My oldest son, I had bought a dragon alphabet, which was much easier, and I uh, stitched his name with the alphabet on a pillow, so he got that probably when he was about 11. Um, and Seth, my youngest, will be uh, he's 20, he just turned 25 this year, so he's been waiting a long time, but I am really hoping that I can pull that out for some prompt or something and knock it out because it is so close to being finished, and that would be my second oldest project done this year, and that would be wonderful, so... Um, my next oldest project was started in 2006 to 2007, I'm not real sure which one, uh which one it was started in. It's um, Dawn's Fairy Spirit of Grace by Passiana Ricamo. I had talked about whether I wanted a UFO this or not. And the reason is not the design. The reason is the fabric and the stitching um, are very much similar in color. And that was my fault. I picked the wrong fabric. I love this fabric, but I picked the wrong fabric for this. Um... To go backwards, because I'm trying to say everything, this guy just has a needle minder from like Hobby Lobby. And then this fabric is uh, 28 count Cashel linen, and it's Stormy Night Flare, one that I did. And this one is also one that I did. It's called Fairy Tears. And it has an I solemnly swear that I am up to no good needle minder. I forget where I got that. But I wish I had it all together on in my planner here. It's in a different place in my planner. It's kept in a pinky promises bag with this gorgeous unicorn on it. Um, I decided I'm going to keep going with it and maybe outline the dress. Because I have a good chunk of this dress all the way done. It's kind of hard to see. But you can see I've done some Krynik. Started her hair up here as the black. Um, so I think I'm going to keep going with it and see how it goes. Not giving up yet. Okay. My next one is a UFO. It's still in my list. Uh, I started it in 2007. I hate this piece. I'm not going to do it. It's because of the fabric. It's by the Sweet Sweetheart Tree. It's called Weeping Violets. And the weave is so soft that it is hard to count on it. And that's all I have done. So I'm chucking it. I'm getting rid of it. It's just a cream colored jaslin. It's a jaslin, I think. Um, so it's an opalescent. But it's in this thing because I'm not going to stitch it. Maybe one day. I don't know. I'll set it aside. But I'm not planning on picking it up again. Life's too short and I got too much stuff. Okay. Another UFO. Um, I really love the fabric on this one actually. This is a 
group of designs called Fantasy Bears. They were freebies by Vermilion, the Vermilion Stitchery. I started this in 2007. Um, I did it as a round robin and um, sent it around to people in my group. My It was Yuku. It was something else before that. I can't remember. Um, but each person picked a little thing to do. I did one of them. I can't remember which one. And then I sent it around and everybody else did the rest. And I've started on the Glinda the Good Witch. Um, nope. Yeah, Glinda the Good Sorceress of Oz. But it's real cutesy and I'm not into that anymore. So I just have it set aside. Um, that fabric was a Hocus Pocus flare that I did. A 32 count Lugana Opal. And it's just kept in a plastic box, so nothing exciting there. Um, after that, this is a Garon Totten bag. It's another castle one. This one is Bluebeard's Princess by Mirabilia. That's what she's supposed to look like, but I'm doing the um, teal and black conversion that's on the Mira Conversions Facebook group, and, and it's by Tracy, if I remember right. I probably have it written down here somewhere, but I did not grab that. Um, I took all of them out of the hoops except for my full coverage in this one because I'm worried if I take it out of my hoop uh, or my uh, Q-snap, I won't put it back in there. And I still need to get some stuff done. Um, her skin is one over one, so that is a lot of stitches all the way across the top there with her arm and her chest. My, this fabric um, was called Violet Splendor Flare by my um, Enchanted Fabrics when I was doing Enchanted Fabrics. And it is uh, 28 Count Lagana, it looks like. And this is a Gina's Unique Boutique Needle Minder. I don't know where I got this. It was over a decade ago. Um, my whip go goal on this one is to finish this tail flare. Um, so that's what I put down. Tail fan completed. I didn't realize that the tail fan went all the way here and on this side as well. So that's a lot of stitching. And since I'm doing a conversion, it's taking a lot of time because I have to look to see what the symbol is on the back of the chart. And then I've got to look to see on the conversion. The conversion is by Tracy Jenkins, by the way. Um, on the conversion, what that number corresponds to on the conversion. So it takes a lot of time. There's some tweeting, um, two DMC threads together to make one color. So that takes some time too. Um, it's going to look pretty when it's done. It's just, it's hard to stitch on. <laughs> so I did put it on my Ringo board for my fandom cross stitching group just at 200 stitches each time because 200 stitches doesn't really take very long and maybe I can knock it out slowly like that. I think I only put it on there two or three times but I was hoping that that would get me going on it but it might just make me skip that week of the Ringo call <laughs> because I'm just trying to be honest with myself right? <laughs> Um, so that one I started January 26th, 2019. So that's after a big long stretch of nothing or things I completed in there. Um, then my next one is in another Pinky Promises bag with the unicorn because I loved these unicorns. So I bought them. She didn't have them anymore on her Etsy site. And... It is Mirabilia's July's Amethyst Fairy. And my husband's birthday is in July, and my birthstone is Amethyst. So even though July's birthstone is a ruby, um, this works for me, and I adore these colors. So this fabric is an unknown hand-dyed. Um, it will probably show up white, but it's got little pale purple splotches all over it. It is very, very pale purpley splotches. So it's a 28 count Lugana Opal. I started this one January 27th, 2019, and I'm just busting away. I started kind of at her waist and I'm going down. 
I don't know why I do that. A lot of people want to go give their projects a face, and I just like working on the dresses, and that's probably because Mirabilia has beautiful dresses. This is a Gina's Unique Boutique Needle Minder. Um, yep, and that's where I am on this one. This one has not been called, I don't think. Oh, no. It has been called. It was a thousand stitches, and I already knocked this one out. My next one is Mirabilia, Lady of the Flag, and I am doing the blue conversion. So this is the picture of what she looks like if you do her in the regular colors. I started this one on February 6th, 2019. I'm doing her on the Stitchery Express We the People fabric. And she has not been called this year yet, but I am pretty close to a finish on this one. Her dress is done all the way at the bottom. Um, at the top, the only part I have is, oh no, her dress is completely done. Um, the flag is kind of, oh, I have a, a, something either dog fur or something. Uh, the flag is draped over here and uh, part of it is kind of draped down here. And then she's she has her arm going up here holding the torch. So that's what I got left plus the Liberty banner along the bottom and then all the beads. So that's all the holes is the beads. Um, but her dress is completely finished and it looks stunning. Um, I am currently working on her hair and then I don't know if I'll, I can't remember what my goal is. Wait, arm, torch, and hair is my whip go goal this year. But ideally, I'd like to finish her because she's so close to being done. And I have so many Mirabilia projects. As you could just see, I did Bluebeard's Princess and um, July's Amethyst Fairy and this one. And I have Nora Corbett, Santa Slay. So I got a few. Um... And I'd like to knock this one out and then start another lady, but by a different designer. And my hope is to start Gaia the Earth Goddess by Bella Filipina. So that's my plan for that one. If I didn't say, I had that crown on her and it was Gina's Unique Boutique. Okay, my next one is not a Mirabilia. I started this on February 8th, 2019. It sounds like I did a whole start thing there. This is Glendon Place's Murky Manor. And I did this on uh, one of my fabrics, the Celadon Flare in on a Lugana. And this is where I am so far. My goal on this one is a thousand stitches, and I don't think it's been called. Nope, it hasn't been called yet. And I want to say I might be off over here. So in that window that I'm working on, so I may have to frog that. I can't remember if I fixed it or not before I put it up. Uh, Gina's Unique Boutique again. And this is a um, Garon Totten Bags bag. And I think that's all for this one. This one stitches up really nice. So I should be able to knock that one out fairly quick. Whenever I get to it. My next one is Teresa Wensler. It is The Storyteller. Um... This is a restart for me. I feel like I have it. Yes, I have it in this probably. Yeah. Um, 
I had originally started this on Ada and was having a hard time with it. So I decided to restart it on Monaco. And it is on a Monaco that I dyed. And it's called Siren's Call Mystique. And it's a clay by Kim Needleminder. So. My whip go goal on this one is to finish the stone that he's sitting on. That's what I have down, but it almost looks like it's finished. Hmm. Because uh, his tail takes up, the dragon's tail takes up part of this triangle here. So I'll have to see. Maybe I'm just a, maybe I'm just some stitches shy. Yeah, I don't even, oh, maybe I already did it. Because I don't see it on my whip go board. I'm going to have to check on that. I was going to say, it looks like it's done. I do this um, on things that I keep on, like the scrolls, rods, and stuff like that, because it can get dusty with all the dogs that I have. So, I'm just trying to keep it clean. You'll see one black fabric that I had where it didn't stay so clean, unfortunately. Um, that was started, restarted on March 24th, 2019. My next one's in another Garon Totten Bags bag. And it is by Lolita Made on Etsy. Now, I don't know if this shop is available anymore. Um, this is a Game of Thrones piece. And my husband is calling. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit out of whack here because my husband called like I thought he would on his way home from work. So, okay, back to the patterns here. On April 10th, 2019, I started a pattern called Night's Watch Oath. This is from the Game of Thrones. This is by a designer called Lolita Maid. She was on Etsy. I don't know if she's on Etsy anymore. Um, I did this on a 28 count black Lugana. It's supposed to all be in white, um, but I've been changing some of the words to different colors, just however it speaks to me. So I have all of the words done. And like I said, it's all supposed to be in white. This is all in silks, by the way, too. Um, hand dyed fibers, Vicki Clayton silks. Um, so I did most of the words in white, but kind of words that stood out to me like night, watch, death, wife, children, glory, crowns. I did some also in um, petite treasure braid. So like crowns is in gold, um, sword is in silver, uh, no, shield is in silver. Sword and shield look like they're in silver. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's where I am. This is on my whip go board. It is... The one that's right in the middle of all that row that would give me a whip go. So it's this one right here. Has not been called yet. And when it is called, the goal is to finish the top border of this. So you can see that's where I'm at. There's kind of this eagle looking thing there. I'm not sure what I meant for the top border. Um... This eagle is kind of attached to this border and it goes up and then it comes back down and goes around. I'm not sure if I also meant the swords and stuff on each side. I don't know if I meant this whole thing. I don't think I meant all this. Um, so I'm just going to at least go with the eagle and this and maybe those. I'll have to see. But anyway, so just black Lugana and uh, there's a dragon scale there. I'm sure it's Gina's Unique Boutique because when I first started buying them, that's she's the only one I bought from for a long, long time. And then I started getting into like the snarky crafter and all of that. Um, so, yeah. All right. This next one is in a Garon Totten Bag Superhero bag. 
And this is my Supernatural Sampler. It's based on the TV show Supernatural. Warning curse words. But there's a lot of sayings on here of things they say in the TV show. And I love the Winchesters. So I <laughs> have not finished the series yet because I don't want it to end. I get like that. My husband hates it. I do the same thing with book series when I don't want them to end. So anyway, this is really, really close to a finish. I have... Let me try to move this out of the way here. There we go. This is all I've got done. So the whole car needs backstitched. And some of the big, bigger words also need backstitched. And I did not do that as I was going along. I'm not sure if I even realized it. Um, but right on top of the, like I have another little blurb that goes over here. And then there's a big, the family business. And then there's a couple of blurbs that go along the top of that. And then it's done. So really it won't take long. Um, as soon as I finish this one, I have another one, um, that's supernatural themed that I want to go in its place. So I have it all kitted up right back here somewhere and really excited to get started on that one. I started this one on April 20th, 2019 and my whip go goal this year is a finish on it. So that one will be done. I, it really will not take very long for that one. Uh, that's on 28 Count White Lugana. And it had an angel wing um, needle minder on it that's from Gina's Unique Boutique. And the designer is Fandom Cross Stitchery. They were on Etsy. Uh, next one. This bag is Pinky Promise bag from Etsy. And it is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. You guys, if you just watched my last video, you will have seen this. I started this on May 1st, 2019. I decided to stitch it all on one piece of fabric. So I have a fat half of uh, one of my fabrics, which is a Cafe Mocha Mystique. Um... And this is what it looks like. In the last video that I showed you, I just showed you really this square because I had my Q-snap on. So you can see my this one's completed. Um, and this is the one I'm working on. My whip go goal is to complete this second square. And it has been called already, and I've really been trying to work on this one. So this is a Gina's Unique Boutique Pumpkin Needle Minder. And hoping that I can get this goal knocked out. It is my um, second one right here to finish, so. I took it off the Q-snap. I'm gonna have to put it back on because I'm probably gonna try to work on it again this weekend. In fact, I'm setting it over there because I am going to try to do that. All right, my next one was started May 4th, 2019. It's in a Garon Totten Bags bag. And by the way, I don't have enough bags to match what these patterns are because this is a patriotic piece by Waxing Moon Designs called My Heart Beats True. That's what it's going to look like. I'm doing this on, um, it's just like a sand colored Monaco. I am doing it with the gassed, I think it's gassed threads. Let me look to be sure. Crescent colors, I lied. Well, they're color and cotton now, I think. Um, classic color work, sorry. Man, I'm getting them all confused. Yeah, they're classic Colorworks threads. Um, so this is what I got done so far. This is a whip has a whip go gold to finish the whole top stripe. So I've started on the top stripe here, you can see. And um, let me see, has it been called? Weird, I don't see it up there. 
Oh, yep, it's up there. It's right next to one of the free space, this space right here. Um, this is the School of Wizardry and Witchcraft Needle Minder. I think it's Snarky Crafter Designs um, on that. And that's all I got for this one. I need to get some more, I guess, patriotic bags. I got a lot of Halloween stuff, obviously. All right. Thine is the trick and the treat is the next one. I started this on November 24th, 2019. I have a PDF version, so this is what it looks like. And mine is done on Harvest Moon hand-dyed fabric by Fabulous Fabrics. I have not been able to find this uh, designer again for fabric, but I wish I could because I love this fabric. It's gorgeous. Um, it's kind of got the peachy oranges. It's got some blues in here, some grays, greens. It looks awesome. This has not been called yet for Whipgo. Um, my whip go goal for this is to finish the witch. So I've got to finish this little piece. And then there's a skull motif right down here that I've got to finish up. So that should be a fairly quick finish. Um, I think I'm right at the bottom of the first page here. So once I get that done, I will probably pop up to this area and start working. Um, every time I pick this up, I love working on it. It. My dog just made the weirdest sound, so I apologize if you can hear that. Um, this is a Clay by Kim needle minder. And this is a quilting grimalkin bag. And I believe... It is under the Crafting Grimalkin on Etsy. So, I'm using some silks um, from my Silks For You Silks of the Month colors for that. So I'm using my own colors. Next is Spooky Countdown. So, again, if you watched my last video, you saw some of this. This is another quilting grimalkin bag, which is crafting grimalkin, I'm pretty sure, on Etsy. This is what it will look like when it's done. I'm doing it all on one piece of fabric. I did pull it out of the Q-snap so that you can see it a little better. Last video, I just was kind of showing you where I was on it, I think. But now you can see the whole thing that I have done. So this whip go goal just got completed and I will be putting this away for now. This is a fabric that was stitched or uh, dyed by me and the pumpkin is Gina's Unique Boutique. She has a Facebook group. She has a, an Etsy store. I started that on February 16th, 2020. All right, my next one is in another Pinky Promises bag with a unicorn. This one is a Heaven and Earth Designs. It's by an artist called Sheila Wolk, W-O-L-K. Um, she is no longer with Heaven and Earth Designs, so you can't get these anymore. This is a pattern called Revelation. I can't wait to get to some of those butterflies, guys. I'm doing this on 28 count. Um... Easy Count, Lugana. This is Gina's Unique Boutique, boutique again. Um, I just have the upper corner. So, goal is a thousand stitches on this. Uh, I don't think it's been called. Oh, uh, nope, it hasn't been called yet. So, just in the kind of background weeds on that one. Next one is Mini Sleepy Hollow. I just showed this one in my last 
in my last video. It's in a Stitch All the Things bag that she had sold on her uh, Instagram. And I have it in a pillow sham to keep all the dust off of it. I did um, a couple hundred stitches on this just last weekend during the virtual retreat. So this is where I am on it. You can see the tree limbs and the start of the moon. I have a glow in the dark ghost on there. That's a Gina's unique boutique. The whole design, let me show you. I started this on May 15th, 2020. Let's see if it, okay, I can kind of blow it up. There's a picture of what it will look like when it's done. So I'm just kind of up here in the trees and the moon in this corner. Alrighty, goal on that's a thousand stitches. I have 201 stitches completed. So I got 799 to go to complete that. And it has been called. I'm pretty sure it has been called. No, I lied. It has not been called. It is the spot right below the free space. When it's called, I put a square around it so that I know it's been called for Whipco. All right. Next one is another one that you just saw in my last video. It's called Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. This is what it looks like when it's finished. This is on Picture This Plus Legacy 28 Count Lugana. Um, the needle minder is a Clay by Kim Dragon. So earlier it was still on the Q-snap on the last video when I showed it to you. My whip go goal on this is to do the inner border, the top part of the inner border, and then the words that go right in here. So I had done all the acorn border. It, it's not all of it. It goes all the way around. Um, but on the top. And then um, when I just pulled it to work on last weekend, I, I just did this part. So I just got a little bit over to go and down and then the words and then that whip go goal would be done. So this one is so easy to stitch on. It's it's one of those it's one of those that I don't struggle with it. So some of them I struggle quite a bit on, but not that one. I could keep going. Atlantis is another one that I can do that with. So Alrighty. My next one is in another Christine by um her Stitch All the Things bag that she did on Instagram. And this one is Steampunk Bride. This was by Custom Cross Stitch on Etsy. She is beautiful. Full coverage. Done on 28 Count Lugana Easy Guide with a Clay by Kim Needle Minder. And I just have a little tiny corner up there done. Goal on this one's a thousand stitches. I don't think I've done any on her. I've only done a thousand total on her anyway, with some holes in there, it looks like. So, um, yeah, I need to pull that out and get another thousand stitches in it. I started her on July 19th, 2020. Oh gosh, that's right before my mama passed away. So, I don't even have all the colors I don't think pulled for this one. So that's my problem. That's why I have some holes kind of left there. Um, so when she gets called, I don't think she... Yeah, she has already been called. Um, so I need to get to work on her. Um, my next one is Dark Queen of the Sea. I am so behind on this one. Um, let's see. Here's what she's going to look like. I finished the first part, which was the three fish. Um, I started her on September 13th, 2020. Is that sticking to there? Okay. It's on the called for fabrics, a 28 count Lugana Opal Bewitched under the sea fabrics. And this is 
Gina's Unique Boutique, Gina's Unique Boutique. And I stitch so I don't stab people. I can't remember where I got that one. I have to look that up. Um, I'm starting on section two. So I have this on my Whipco board twice this year. I actually didn't realize it. Um, and both times I had the same thing on there to finish the part twice. So I split it up and I'm going to try to finish part two and part three. Um, so I don't have which one is what part because I may need to finish part two before part three. I'm not real sure. Um, but one of them has been called and one of them has not been called. So I am working on finishing part two to get that completed. And that is in this bottom corner right here of my Whipgo board. I started that September 13th, 2020. If I didn't say that, I think I might have said that already. Uh, my next one. Oh, I don't think I said what bag this is in. This is a cute little creative Carol designed as a little mermaid bag. Not the little mermaid, but a cute little mermaid bag. And I like the handle on it. It's the only one I have that has this cute handle. So... And I really think from now on, I'll be getting the ones that have the vinyl fronts to it because it makes it so much easier to see what's in it instead of having to open each one um, to see what's in there. Uh, this one is the Quilting Grimalkin. It's little castles and unicorns on it. This is my Atlantis by Owl Forest Embroidery. I got this as a kit, so the fabric is what came in the kit. Um... I had this out for my last weekend one. And these needle miners just stick together like crazy. Okay, I think I got them apart. I didn't even show what it's supposed to look like. Here's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what I have done. I, my Whipgo goal this year was to finish this house and this wave, and so I just got it completed. However, <laughs> the house is in the wrong color, and I just found that out as I was finishing counting the stitches for the house. It should have been in this orangey kind of color up here, but I'm still sticking by this because on here, it does not look orange. It looks brown and brownie yellow, and so I chose the color that was brownie yellow, not even thinking about it. So we're really going to have to see if I start running out of that color. There's a lot of fish and there's an octopus in here and a seahorse that has a lot of that color in it. So I may have to make some of them the orangey color instead because I'm not going to pull that whole house out. And I think that it looks fantastic in that color actually. So it's staying. It's going to stay that way. So this one's done for the year. Um, I do have another owl forest embroider that I want to start. It's a hummingbirds and it's another kit. So I'm really excited. This one was started on November 3rd, 2020. And that goal is completed. My next one is in a Sherry So Sweet bag. It says let it snow all over it. And this is a Nora Corbett Santa's sleigh. And my whip go goal for this one was to complete the whole front half of the sleigh, not counting the sparkly threads or the beads. And I have completed that this year. So the whole front is done. I started this November 22nd, 2020. I have a little uh, Christmas tree on there. It's Gina's Unique Boutique. I've got threads hanging all over it. Oh well, nobody said I was clean and tidy. In fact, I told you about my ironing, right? So there is that. So this one gets to go away because it's done. Okay, my next one is going to be a bit to get out here. It's a Garon Totten Bags bag. Cute little 
witches and kitty cats and flowers and are there kitty cats there are zero kitty cats on this i must have saw her boots in her hat and thought it was a cat but it's not okay so this is um chatelaine rose lights And I keep this in a big old pillow sham too because it's huge and I'm not taking it off the scroll rod either. It is on, um, by the way, my last piece was on antique, no, no uh, slate Lugana. Um, it's one of the Zweigert colors. It's not hand dyed. This one's on an antique blue Lugana. And it has a clay by cam needle minder. And I have a tiny little start up here in this corner. And my whip go goal for this is to finish the top border. So it has not been called yet. I say that and then I go look because I'm like, am I sure? Is it on there? I don't see it on there. Hm. Oh yeah, there it is. It's not been called. So, I sometimes don't know when, when I, like when I choose a thousand stitches, that sounds like a lot for me because I don't get a whole lot of time to stitch. But then when I choose something like finish the whole top border and this thing is several hundred stitches wide, a couple hundred at least, um, I don't know what's more. So... I started that one December 2nd, 2020. So, on to the next one. This is another Garon Totten Bags bag. Now this one has cats all over it. This is Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is on a Jobelin Slate Flare, so it's one of my fabrics. Got a Ravenclaw needle minder on it. I can't remember who does that. Um, this whip go goal was to finish E, F, and G. So I did get that done. And I started this January 3rd, 2021. And that one gets to go away. This was the bane of my existence at the beginning of this year. I hated stitching on this thing. I messed up on it so many times. I don't know why. You'd think words would be easier, but it was not. Alrighty. My next one is in another Garon Totten Bags bag. It's a big bag. This is done on 18 count white Ada. This has curse words in it, so watch out. Um, this is a saying from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That is my husband's favorite Christmas movie. He watches it every year on December 24th as he's wrapping gifts. And so it's a quote from that. Um, my needle minder says, I wish I was a unicorn so I could stab idiots with my head. I'd have to check to see where I got that one. I don't think I got it at Gina's Unique Boutique, but I can't remember. It's saved in my digital planner, but I don't have that section up. I started this um, November 5th, 2022. So you can see there was a big gap there. Uh, January 3rd, 2021 to November 5th, 2022, where I didn't start anything. Um, well over a year. But that goal, uh, Whipco goal, was to finish the line, squeezes his fat white. Uh, and I finished that. So that one's done for this year. Uh, designer on that one is Demented Stitcher, by the way, on Etsy. Um, my next one is by a designer called Una Buena Pieza. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It is called Night Garden. My husband just walked in, so my dogs are going to bark. This is what that looks like. Sorry, there's a glare. So this 
so night garden I started that on March 11th 2023 it is in a pinky promises bag that's really dusty but it's cute and lo lots of dog hair all over it it's on a 28 count Monaco black and that's my start on it not a big start this is Gina's Unique Boutique. Cute little fox. Alrighty. I'm getting down close to the end here. The next one I started on July 2nd, 2023. It is the Greenhouse of Oddities Stitch Along. I have a picture of it up to the seventh planting, but the eighth planting just came out today, so there's a big flower in the middle of that. It's Lola Crow, is the designer. And I just have a tiny little start on it. It is the dirt around the edge of the greenhouse, the bottom of the greenhouse. It's barely over a hundred stitches. This fabric is gorgeous though. It's called Ledger by Bestitch Me and it's a 28 count Lugana. I love this. And then this is just a one, two, three stitch needle minder. But this is so gorgeous. This is in a bag by Peaky Promises again. Super cute. And, yep, that's all I have. And then I started the Evergreen Sampler. It's in this book that I got on Amazon called A Cross Stitch Christmas Handmade Memories. And it's by Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor. It's called Woodland no, it's called Evergreen Sampler, sorry. This is what it's going to look like. Oh gosh, I'm not holding that very well. I'm stitching this on one of my fabrics. Uh, it was called an Evergreen Painted. This is all I have done. And I'm off on this side down here. I need one more stitch that way. So I'm going to have to pull out the couple on the end and just move it over it's hard to see but there's also some little lighter colors all around here like little stars or something um, my needle minder says it's too peopley outside I can't remember where I got that I'm gonna have to look that one up this is a pinky promises bag I adore her bags if you can't tell And I started that one also on July 2nd, 2023. So I started two of them that same day. It was right after our 4th of July party. We did a big cleanup that morning. And then I decided to just chill out and start some things that day. And then my very most recent one is the Frogwarts Year 4 Sampler. It was put out by the Black Needle Society, Katie Landis. This is based on... Um, Goblet of Fire. I'm stitching it on scroll by Bestitch Me. I have a tiny little start here with just the green fabric. And my needle minder says I solemnly swear a lot, which I think is from Snarky Needlecraft Design. And it's only going to be about this big. But it's still like 222 wide by 83 tall. So there's a lot of stitching to go still. And I started that on July 12th. And that is my whip parade. And my husband it is peeking around the corner. What? And now he's running. <laughs> so that's all I have for my whip parade. Um, we have gone through all of them. I don't know how many I actually have because I've added some. I haven't. I UFO'd two. Let me count here. 
I'm not going to count the ones I UFO'd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Oh, no, 25, 26, 27, 28. I have 28 whips currently. And then I have um, all of these right here are kitted up, ready to go. But they're the ones that I wanted to finish something first before I added the next one into my rotation. So like I said, when I finish Lady of the Flag, I want to do um, put Gaia the Earth Goddess in. And when I finish my Supernatural Sampler, I have another Supernatural one that I want to um, kind of put in there to go. So... Anyway, that's what I have for you today for this whip parade. So if you stuck around this long, thanks for sticking around and watching. I uh, hope you found something that you liked, something that maybe you're stitching on too. Let me know uh, down below if you're stitching on any of this. And if you have any questions about anything that we talked about today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.